The first coffin I ever built was for my uh, my child when my wife had a miscarriage. It took me a while to figure out how to make the panels wide and make them pretty. It's such a personal thing to have your hands on there and to really be working with it. Coffin making seems to have really begun with furniture makers. Metal is a pretty recent innovation, and apparently now we use enough metal every year in our coffins to rebuild the Golden Gate Bridge buried in the ground. To build an entire casket takes me about 25 hours. Mostly what I do is sand. I feel like I sand and I sand and I sand. I never feel like it's finished, but then I guess that's kind of a fit thing because that's probably how we feel at the end of our lives too. I think one of the most important aspects of the coffin is that it can be carried. And I think we're meant to carry each other. And I think carrying someone you love and committing them is very important for us. And when we deal with death, we want to know that we have played a part and that we have shouldered our burden. So if we make it too convenient, then we're depriving ourselves of a chance to get stronger so that we can carry on. When I'm out here by myself early in the morning or in the middle of the night or something like that, I, I can get a sense of how work is love made visible. You know, the Benedictine monks say, you know, work and pray. And I guess those things kind of bleed together for me. So it's not that I have some words in my head. It's more just a state of love and becoming a small part of a bigger picture that I don't fully understand. I'm building something for someone that people tend to think is a destination. People think that the grave is the end. And I'm trying to illuminate that, no, it's a doorway.